today we're gonna go over how to install the Syriac phone on Windows 10 first we need to download uh, the font from uh, Aramaic study uh, website this is the website here is the Aramaic study uh, website URL and uh, uh, when you are here you're gonna go to book and there is uh, a link to download the fonts when you click on it it's gonna save it to you or it's gonna download it to you as a zip file just save it to a uh, location you wanna just click OK and it's gonna be uh, saved on your computer on the default down uh, default uh, folder for download mine it's gonna go to downloads folder uh, that's my default uh, folder so by clicking here I have it here I'm gonna click on it and it is already uh, downloaded here I need to extract all or I can click right click on it uh, uh, here you go this is the one I already had it a uh, couple of times downloaded to test this uh, video so if I click on uh, 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 XROC all, uh, I should have something like a folder uh, in here which is called the Syriac font. Double click on it, you'll have the fonts folder. When you click on it, it's gonna see all the folder, I'm sorry, all the fonts uh, we need to install. By select all, Control A and uh, deselect two files the license and this Word document. We don't need them because you cannot install them. And then you click uh, right click on the highlighted area, click install. You should receive some kind of this message that select yes and install uh, the fonts. It takes about 15 to 20 seconds, it depends on your computer process soon this one is done we are gonna go to a language setting and uh, uh, add the Syriac keyboard that is the second uh, step we need to do here you go this one is done so I'm gonna minimize this one and here on uh, this area search just type language and you will see something like language setting click on it here we're gonna be able to add the uh, keyboard uh, for the Syriac language uh, by clicking on this uh, button here and you type Syriac you should see the Syriac here select it next and install you will see it here okay and also you're gonna notice that something has been added here too to switch from keyboard to uh, another keyboard now by default is giving me the English keyboard USA English keyboard and if I want to select and that's what we're gonna do when we need to type in Syriac we need to uh, switch the keyboard to Syriac. Before I'm going to show you how we're going to type, I have another thing to view the keyboard on screen. It's called on screen keyboard. If I'm going to type on screen, okay, you should see this one here. And it's going to give you this keyboard. Now it's by default because it's English, it shows everything in English. Uh, when I need to change it to Syriac, it just select the Syriac will change the font or the letter to Syriac. Now, where are we going to use this one? If you are not good typing uh, key, using keyboard in in Syriac, you can click on letters and it's going to type for you. I'm going to just show you in a minute how we're going to use it. But I prefer to use the keyboard because you know practicing is going to help me more uh, with that now if I open we're going to apply it on Microsoft Word by the way the on 
on screen keyboard always aren't gonna is gonna be on the top unless you need to close it or minimize it to uh, open other folder now when we by default when we open Microsoft Word of course it's gonna open it for just default setting what I need to do because we are right to left language I'm gonna move this one to the right and then increase the font 18 or 20 that is fine 18 I use it uh, uh, for uh, my typing but if you have if you want to use 20 is okay and also we're gonna select uh, this uh, type of font after you install all these fonts we have for Syriac you should have let me minimize this one here uh, you're gonna have uh, all these fonts installed somewhere and if you go to for example e uh, starting with the e uh, you will see all those you have them in there now personally i use uh, two fonts uh, for estrangilo i use nasibin and for regular typing i use the east syriac adiabin so those are the two we use them uh, I use personally for typing so I'm gonna select this one soon you select that one and you use it for first time you must see it here every time you want to use the Syriac you should see it here in the recently used font okay uh, I'm gonna practice this one uh, using first the uh, on screen keyboard you see here is already uh, show me the font uh, if I if I want to practice typing here for example if I'm gonna s type Alaha uh, so this is Alep and then I need the Thaha Thaha it should be shift and this one here is show the Thaha you will see those two dots on the top uh, one on the one on the top one on the underneath Alaha and then Skapa here you go Skapa he and Skapa again and then finally Alep so that <coughs> excuse me uh, that is Alaha uh, using the keyboard again uh, you can click and type that is one option uh, personally I don't use this one I type directly from keyboard because I have practiced a lot uh, to do that so it's more convenience for me to use uh, the keyboard in this case all right uh, now you need to practice more about the vowels vowels are very important in our language so uh, typing the vowels with the keyboard or even e even with the key on key on screen keyboard you need to use a shift key plus certain key uh, to type the letters I'm gonna practice those vowel with the letter Beth and I'm gonna go over with the uh, uh, first starting with the Thaha usually Thaha is a shift and the letter Z and then next to it which is X next to Z is X shift X is Skapa and next to it next to X is C shift and C is Zambabshika and then Beth I mean sorry shift and N okay now we're gonna jump to end I'm gonna just keep the V and B for now N is Zambabshika so shift and N is Zambabshika now you know that we have the uh, uh, two other uh, vowels are derived from letters uh, uh, I'm sorry three vowels are derived from two letters the two are derived from wow letter Rwaha is a shift uh, sorry Rwasa is a shift V Rwasa and Rwaha is a shift B and now Hwasa, which is uh, derived from E letter, uh, of course you can use the shift V to put the dot underneath it. So these are how we're going to type the vowels. 
uh, using the keyboard shift and uh, plus shift plus uh, Z X C V B N to put the vowels under of course for a few times you will need to practice to be able to memorize all these vowels uh, keys other uh, dots we use in Syriac and again I'm gonna apply it on the B for example a shift and I is giving me the two big dots Siame which is the uh, the uh, symbol of plural and also uh, if I have a B and then wow shift wow or shift O sorry the shift O letter is gonna give me a slight line above the letter which is the Mabatlana silent the letter and also I have shift and P big dot above a letter and we use this big dot when we uh, tell the leader the reader tell the reader this letter is the hard sounds I hope you enjoy this one please like us to receive more videos in the future thank you and see you soon